Hi, Pep. Um, John Stones and Kyle Walker aren't, aren't here with you. Just wondered if there was an update on them. Injure. Was that injure? What, what happened with, with John? Because it, it looked like he arrived. trained this morning. Yeah, he right. Yeah, he start, but he, to prove it himself, he right this morning feeling not good. That's why we are lucky that uh, the club uh, give us or give me or uh, to the club uh, Manu. Uh, Kanji, otherwise we'll be in real, real trouble. We knew it, we felt it. That's why the club moved quick, and we can you can bring another player because in this position for our, especially I'm for the big injured and the story from John and Nathan that they are not quite reliable to be weeks in, week out, be ready to play. We are in the position that's a difficult one, but it's where it is. So I think mainly because. With this incredible schedule for many, many, many years, the players at the NA Human Beings, they cannot sustain this demanding situation for a long time. Just Larry. Oh, just there, please. Hi, Pep. Um, the Champions League is where the whole world got to know Erling and his talent. Do you remember the moment where you saw him for the first time, where, you, where he caught your eye for the first time? I remember in one game, like I was in the locker room after one game, I don't remember. I said, there's one guy who scored three or four goals, a young one. I remember that. Yeah. Against Genk in the Champions League, no? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Just there, please. Guys, take the mic off each other. <laughs> How um, serious are Kyle and John's injuries? I think John is not much. And Kyle... Uh, it's not much too, but I don't know. We'll be ready for a Saturday or the game or Dortmund and Wolves before the international break. So we'll see. What particularly is it? What injuries have, have they got? Is it muscular injury for the both? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, you've always said to us that the Premier League is the priority. But you know, we're here at the start of another the Champions League. League campaign. To win the Champions you know League. The I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but I mean, when you come so close with your with your history in the competition as well, you've been in a final with Manchester City, semi final. How much harder does it get each time you get closer, and how much more difficult is it to motivate yourself? But how much harder is it to win every year? Sport, not just football, gives you always if you are involved you get another opportunity. So in football, in a sport, you lose more than win in your careers, and so it's a difficult competition. It's a proud pride to be here again. We're going to try, like we were trying since the day one, and uh, we for seasons we didn't get much longer. And the last year we were last stages and try to perform well. See, this is worse. You know, a favorite, a favorite, we're going to win, we're going to win. I don't know. So it will depend on the pitch. Tomorrow, the next game against BVB, the games Copenhagen, Sevilla at home. So we will depend on our performance, and if it's good, we we'll deserve it. And if it's not good, we will go home, and uh, we will get some punishments through the fans, media, and whatever, and keep going. So, and after a while, new game coming, and and move forward. So. Important is tomorrow start a competition. Like last season, we fought a lot to be here, like Sevilla, for example. And and now we try to enjoy knowing how difficult it will be because the Spain, the teams in Spain is always are so tough. They dominate Europe in the last 10, 50 years like never another country in the world. I would love to have the historial in Europe like Sevilla has. Manchester City, we are far away what they have done in Europe. <clears throat> this stadium is more than magnificent in terms of Spectators, I don't know if you have been here before, but tomorrow don't miss one chance. The the big spe spectacle that is play in this stadium and try to do a good game and try to make the first three points. Um, Pep, we've seen the impact the likes of you know Messi and Ronaldo have had over the years in this competition and how they can at times be the difference. Erling's got some like 23 goals in 19 games in the competition. He's been extraordinary in it so far. Can a player like that help make that that little millimetre difference when a game's particularly tight or difficult, which you've obviously encountered in recent seasons? Could could he be a game changer for you? Listen, all all the players they came in this season, but the club decided to bring him is to try to make us better. Otherwise, it would be no sense. 
That helps is going to help us to win the title, so I don't know. I, I'm so uh, always I believe so if you rely on in the Erling shoulders, we are not going to win the Champions League. So what to do is do it well to help him to create more chances and he scored goals and hopefully can do it. But so he came here because we convinced him, uh, because he felt we didn't have much strikers, he could, you know, play with us and try to be involved in our way we're playing. And uh, settle good, like happened with Julian, what's happened with the other new players. I understand completely that everyone talk about Erling, I understand, but I have a three or four, five new players and I, I consider it the same to settle as quick as possible. And hopefully he can help us, of course, of course it is, but it's not going to win just for Erling, you're not going to win just for Erling. This is my feeling. So, but. They have a special quality, and maybe in the important games, and he can solve maybe the problems that we have. Yeah, definitely. But if we don't play good, we are not going to win the games in the Champions League or even the Premier League.